Hey guys, welcome back to Silhouette Success. My name is Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette, and this is my son Noah. Hi. He's going to be helping out with videos throughout the summer. It's going to be a ton of fun. Today we are creating a 4th of July t-shirt for the boy and altering a pre-made SVG. I'm going to ask you please to label your HTV roles so that you know exactly what you are working with. I'm going to get to more of that throughout the video, so stick around. We're working on this design today. The fireworks came from Creative Fabrica, and I'll drop a link in the comments. Now, I've already brought the SVG file in, and I just need to make sure that the design is ungrouped. Noah's going to take over and change the design colors. Right now, he's just clicking on different elements, then picking the color from the top. This step is necessary because we're going to use group by color in just a minute to set up your cutting mats. You can speed up this process a bit by selecting more than one element at a time. You just hold down your shift key and select all of the elements that you want to select and then go up to the top and change the color at one time. And now he's going to create the offset for the white elements. This design is going on a white t-shirt, so we will need the offset for the white vinyl to show up. Let's add the text. We're going to have the Hooray in blue and Pyrotechnics in red. And I'm going to use PN Boogie Woogie for my font. Even the name makes me happy. Let's resize the lettering and get it positioned properly. Next, we need to open the Group by Color tab and choose By Fill. Select Blue, right-click and Group, then Red, right-click and Group, and just move through all of the different colors in your design and repeat this process. It seems that there are extra elements in here. Let's see. Okay, there are extra offset lines. We can just get rid of those. Let's put everything back in place. Group it together and scale it down so that it will fit on a large youth t-shirt. That's typically around seven and a half to eight and a half inches. Now we can ungroup and get our mat set up for cutting. The blue, white, and black will fit on one mat and we'll cut the red on the second mat. In the send panel, make sure that your cut lines are lit up. And I'm going to choose HTV Rant under my custom settings and we can move over to prepare our cutting mat. My main tip for this video is to start marking your vinyl if you haven't already. I've got right around 60 rolls of HTV at the moment and there is no way to tell them apart. Adhesive vinyl is typically labeled on the backing, but HTV just has a clear backing and once you get rid of the packaging, you won't be able to tell the brand and there is a difference in thickness and cut and press settings. When I started working with the Silhouette Cameo 4, I pretty much went out and bought any 
vinyl that I could find. If it was pretty, it was in my cart. I bought from Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Amazon, you name it. I had um, store brand vinyls. I had Caesar. I had HTV Rant. And I have quite a mixture of vinyls. Now I pretty much stick to either Caesar or HTV Rant and it's getting better, but I really do wish that I had labeled them from the beginning. I have found that my custom setting for the HTV Rant works well on most heat transfer vinyls. So if I'm unsure of what I'm using, those are the settings that I use. As far as pressing goes, I have found that if I set my press to 312 degrees and press for 15 seconds, that usually works for most vinyls as well. So there is a workaround if you're not sure of the vinyl that you're using, but it is much easier to be aware of what you're using and adjust accordingly. The red and the blue vinyl gave us a bit of trouble when it came to weeding, which leads me to believe that they were Caesar brand. The white and the black cut perfectly, but I know for a fact that they are HTV Rant. I absolutely love it when Noah joins me in the crafting activities. If you enjoy seeing him in the videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I know he does appreciate the love. Now I have my press preheated to 312 degrees. We're going to get the shirt situated a bit and give it a quick pre-press to get the moisture out of it. I need to adjust my pressure here. It was way too high. Now I'm going to grab my t-shirt template, get it centered around the neckline. Let's bring it down so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to fold this decal in half so I can see where the center is, get a nice crease there, and just line it up with that center arrow. The bottom of the template is where the top of the decal should go. sure everything is lined up properly. Grab a Teflon sheet and I'm just going to do a quick press to tack this down. And when I peel off the backing sheet, I'm going to peel carefully because I am not sure if it is cold or warm peel. It seems to be fine. You can move on to the blue layer now. Get that lined up and set in place. Teflon sheet and quick press. The next layer has to be the black because it has to be under the white vinyl. This one was a little more difficult to get lined up. Quick press for that one. The last layer is going to be the white stars. That'll go right on top of the black stars. Don't forget the Teflon sheet. And this time I'm going to press it for a full 15 seconds.
give it a little stretch test to make sure everything is stuck down well. And there we have it. While we were wrapping this project up, my X tool came in. I am super excited. So I am going to go unbox that. And you can either watch this video here or go create something amazing. Either way, we'll see you in the next video.